hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to my youtube channel um you know recently after i've uh i saw ti actually calling out boozy and uh and you know organizing the the paperwork party i was really surprised and i was like there was something about this that is actually not right you know so i asked myself i went to the internet uh i did a lot of research and i came up with this conclusion that i i mean i, I actually knew that there was, I mean, as I said, it wasn't something was wrong about it. So, just like we, I mean, uh, nature would want it. I was scrolling down my internet today. I mean, the internet today, and I saw um, Tick Kickland. You know, Tick was talking about the paperwork uh, uh, that being fake. So, necessarily, you know, I'm not saying Ti snitched, or I'm not saying he didn't snitch, but how on earth would Ti with all that street credibility and everything he has organized something like that. So it 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 didn't make sense to me some sort of. So I was like, either the paperwork is fake or the story is fake itself. So one of the one of the two. So Kit actually makes us understand that it is fake. Um I mean I've not watched the feel the, the full inter in interview. I just saw the, 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 the title and I said let's watch it watch it together. So let's react as it, as it, um as it goes. It's bad. He's a snitch. But if you really let's go do our homework. I always do homework. If you go back to the Al Capones and uh, <coughs> what you think about the Young Thug and Gunner situation? Mm, very yeah, interesting. <coughs> what people need to know. I know when they say snitching is bad. He's a snitch. But if you really let's go do our homework. I always do homework. If you go back to the Al Capones and the mobs in New York City, all those guys were snitches. Every last one of them. What people don't understand to this day is that snitching is a big business. I read an article that the feds got so many people on snitching, the, the salaries are a billion dollars a year. Okay, That's how big the payroll is for informants. <clears throat> so from six nine snitching to gunner snitching, um, did they do what's right for them? Yep. Because one day when they're eighty years old, nobody's gonna care. Yeah, facts. Nobody's gonna look at you. you so that's the whole thing. People have come to realize that people move on so quick. You know, people don't really care no more. No matter what you do, so far as you didn't affect somebody personally he doesn't care anymore unless you come and get a hair of me get a hair of my hair then I'm, I'm i'm gonna get back back at you but the next person around me is like nah i don't give a fuck about it so it's just type of thing people move on so quickly nowadays just think about it how much how the hip-hop world was so hurt about r.i.p to take off about about his death but we moved on think about how the interview the the, the whole industry was so fucked up about uh, uh, PNB rock, about pop smoke, about uh, um, all these people we lost in the, in the in the game. Think about how fucked up the, the whole industry was, but we are all moved, we've moved on. We've moved on, look at Tupac, people are using his name, people are losing everything, his face, his whatever, I mean, everything he owned to make themselves rich nowadays. And I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying people move on a lot nowadays, so that's what Tick is trying to say, you know. Make it that long in life and say, Oh, fuck you, you used to do that snitch. Nobody cares. In the next 10, 15 years, nobody's gonna even, even mention it. Thanks. I just wish Gunner and any artist who is trying to <clears throat> become an artist, become the artist, get the try be talented, okay, have fun, that. travel the world instead of staying in the hood. And, you want to help your people, but Dr. Dre said it best. Yeah. He said, be heard but not seen. Help your people, but Dr. What? what Instead of staying in the hood. Mm -hmm. and you want to help your people, but Dr. Dre said it best. Yeah. He said, be heard but not seen. So you still can help your people, but you got to stay away because your own people will take you down. I got to watch it with soft titles now, so because I think my earpiece, I actually stopping me from getting the real volume yeah because you don't want to know how i'm actually doing this video this reaction video 
<laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> oh God, help us. Because you're successful. Unfortunately, it's, it's just the way it is. And, it, and you're successful. Stay away because your own people are take you down. It be heard but not seen. So you still can help your people, but you gotta stay away because, because your own people are take you down take because you you're down successful. successful. Unfortunately, Unfortunately. It's, it's just the way it is, it is and, it, and, 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 and it's bad, so. I mean, everyone wants to see you succeed until you are more than them. It's the sad truth, but it is what we are as humans. You know, some people actually use that energy to become better people, to work harder. Some people use it now to become jealous. And I mean, some people use all that, with what we call jealousy, you know, in a, in a way to build themselves. For example, me as a person, I actually get jealous a lot. I'm a really jealous person. Like, but I don't use the jealousy to be like, I hate on this person. Like, when I see somebody go, having to, I'm, I'm like, damn, I wish I had this thing. Damn, I, I, I deserve this thing better. But hey, I'm gonna give big, I'm gonna give credit to you for, for 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 having it, you know. But I'm I'm just gonna say I wish I had it because I know I deserve it. That's what I feel for myself, you know. But some people go ahead as as, well as hating and trying to stop somebody from winning because you know they they winning and that that shit is fake as f, you know. I hate that Ghana is going. I mean, not Ghana. I hate that young thug. It's is, that is um, in Ghana. Don't have about? to do some time, but I said this a while back too. Whoever's attorney is, see, when a, when a client is miserable and pain, that's the attorney's dream because they play on your, 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 your energy and your emotion, right? Oh, we could take this to trial. We, I know we could beat this. The, the state, the government don't have nothing on you. Mm -hmm. But they got to beat this to be in your dream because they play on your dream. That's a... But let's talk about this going on 